I'm John Skinner and this supplements my book Fishing the Bucktail. In this video I'll be using 3 quarter and 1 ounce SNS John Skinner Blackfish Porky Jigs and these are in the Asian Glow color and the nice thing about these jigs is that they are designed to sit uh, straight up when they land on the bottom and that just makes for an easier hookup. And the hooks are just excellent on these jigs. Uh, they're strong, they're sharp, just a flick of the wrist and you can set that hook right through the lip just like on this fish and you'll see that I'll be using light tackle in this video and uh, the hookups are very easy. Catch a blackfish on the first drop, I'll take it. Even if it's a baby. Yeah, and by first drop, I meant first drop of the season. Yes, blackfish is finally opened. And uh, I, I was down for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Got that first one, a little one. And uh, yep, here we go. Those are uh, Asian crabs I'm putting on there. It's a three quarter ounce jig, put a couple crabs on, and down we go. And those jigs are available at J&H Tackle, and I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. Um, and what you see there is I'm just dropping down to the bottom. I'm not actually jigging. I'm just uh, taking line off the reel and looking to feel for bottom. I hit the bottom. Yeah, that's a better one. Damn. It's a very good second drop of the season. Hmm. Wow. I was, did not expect that. Holy smokes. Oh, nice. <laughs> really nice. I'm not keeping any blackfish today. I'm very happy to catch them. Yeah, so blackfish are good eating, but I'm going to let these go. Uh, I've got a lot of fluke vacuum sealed in the freezer. And uh, also, this is during the week. They open the season during the week. And uh, I'm just going out for a few hours, and then I'm going to go to work. So I don't have a lot of time to deal with fish. So uh, I'm going to let them all go this trip. Uh, black fishing, yeah, the anchoring is so important to be right on the spot, and I'm frustrated at this point because I caught those fish, and then I got uh, the current took me off. I'm using a seven. I was using a seven-pound mushroom anchor, and that wasn't enough to hold the kayak on the spot. So yeah, if you saw what I did there, I took a kayak anchor, tied it to the eye of the mushroom anchor, and put the whole thing down. And who knows if I'll ever get that back, dropping it down in the rocks, but. Uh, that's going to hold me in one spot and that's going to work out well. But clearly I need a better anchor setup than that and uh, I always tie the anchor from behind me so um, I don't have the anchor line in front of me when I'm fishing. Um, yeah, I, I've got another rig I'm going to use uh, but that's going to work for this trip. Uh, if I could just stay on the spot. No fish slimier than this. So when I was growing up learning about black fishing, people um, often said, yeah, you got to let them chew. You know, give them some time. Make sure you feel the sharp tugs. Uh, this is a little bit different. You know, this is uh, very light. You're putting the, the crab on three quarters to an ounce. And what you're really uh, looking to feel is you'll get those taps. And then the fish is just going to pick it up and swim away. So when you feel the jig moving, um, yeah, you just set the hook and you know a good sharp flick of the wrist and you're going to bury a, a decent hook in those lips like that. And boy, I, I got to tell you, on this trip, I'm going to catch a lot of blackfish. I'm going to lose only one. Yeah, I'm going to miss a couple. But uh, boy, just um, you get very good hook sets very easily. And this is light tackle. This is only 10 pound test line. You can see the rod is light. I'm not used to waiting that long for a hit, but... Yeah. All right.
it. I probably waited like uh, two minutes to get that hit. I know that doesn't sound like much. I know this area. If I'm on the structure, I'm going to be getting hit much faster than that. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling up on the anchor line, trying to shift the kayak a little bit. And uh, just I know those rocks are slightly up current. The problem I have is I've got the current moving one way. I've got the wind moving the other way, and I'm like all over the place. Um, so I'm really having some difficulty getting on it, but you know, I've got that extra weight down there now So I think that thing is pretty well set and uh, I just need to pull on to it and um, Hopefully I can get locked on the fish because that makes all the difference with black fishing You know if you're off by 20 feet, you're, you're really out of it So as I said, I'll be releasing these fish, but I'm just curious. Uh, I know where the 16 inch mark is on the rod. The 16 inches is the size limit. And um, yeah, for sure, this, this guy's definitely a keeper. So uh, yeah, just um, pretty decent fish to start. Some of these crabs are big enough to just put one on the hook. Um, I'm putting two on at this point. And you know, towards uh, when, when I start going through the better ones, sometimes I'll put three or four on the hook when they're really small, it all works. All right, that's 27 feet of water roughly, and uh, I started off with three quarters of an ounce, but went to one ounce because, um, you, you know, you could see there's current there. That's why I was having trouble anchoring. There he is. <laughs> Swimming away. Oh, that's a keeper. Definitely good. Hmm. So these are keepers. These are a little over 16. Three of them that size so far. I guess that's would be a limit. So if I drop down and don't get hit within certainly 30 seconds or so, I'm definitely going to move it just a little bit, just like that. Uh, yeah, I think motion is good. Looking at underwater video, they seem to be attracted to it. So, yep, yeah, just a small move. The uh-oh is because it's a sea bass. <laughs> um, yeah, I know sea bass are wonderful eating. They're great fish to fish for. Um, they just kind of annoy me when I fluke fish. So, uh, yeah, I, I expected more of them this trip. And I expected porgies too, but, uh, yeah, you'll see. Probably legal. So now the wind has pushed me a little bit, which is actually good because now it's got me literally like right on top of a rock. And that's why I'm flipping a little bit back um, I just to get away from the rock. Oh, I have a nice hit. Just lift it. <sighs> aren't bad. Certainly plenty of small keepers. Yep. So 
something I really like about this kind of fishing is that there's no gut hooking. Uh, it's not like when you just have a, a hook on a leader and you give them time and they end up swallowing it. Uh, with these, nope, uh, everything is lip hooked. So you might notice my fish finder is off and it was on in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I've taken a shore range, uh, just uh, a chimney on a tree, to make sure I'm not moving. Uh, I know that anchor, or I think that anchor is set very well, and I'm just confirming that by looking at the shore range. And then, uh, yeah, why you know keep that thing running and keep pinging the bottom? Uh, will that scare fish? I don't know. I know it won't scare them if it's turned off, so it's off. leader now. Nice. So that's a Daiwa Saltus 2500 on a six foot tsunami slow pitch rod. What a beautiful combination. Uh, that reel, that it's a uh, very, very smooth drag. Yeah, it really makes this fishing pleasurable. And the line is 10 pound test Daiwa J braid, and I certainly had it up against the rock there and it held up fine. Change that leader. Definitely a keeper.
Wow, I'm around the edge of the rock here. Nice one. That's definitely a keeper. Alright, so I ended up with 10 keepers, and I had more shorts than keepers, so probably a couple dozen fish total, and just a couple of hours of fishing, so uh, what a great start to the season. Alright, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel.